What's up guys, Josh Chloe here. A little late on this. I've been going through um, a lot of stuff lately. Um, different living arrangements, work, just a lot of personal things going on. But um, a little late, but I'm going to give you my prediction for the Dolphins game this week against the Patriots. And, you know, key things of how, if they're going to win the game. Um, call it what you want. I believe the Dolphins are going to lose against the Patriots at home. Um, with Antonio Brown coming into the game, the, however, the the Dolphins played uh, against the Ravens, and then coming in against Tom Brady, Josh Gordon, Julian Edelman, Antonio Brown, you know that, that that offense is just so much more stacked than what the Ravens put up. I don't see the Dolphins winning it, um, just for the fact that you know there's almost no talent on the team. I mean, our defense is okay on the back four, but. The only way to beat Brady is to pressure him, and the fact that we can't, you know, five and a half career stacks, you know, maybe one, uh, one or one more, one less, it's not on that D line. It, I don't see the Dolphins getting to Brady. Brady's gonna have all day to play, and that's that's how Brady, you know, wins. If he has all day to play, he's gonna throw a big game. So, if, however, the Dolphins do come out on top, here is. The keys they have to win, A, you got to pressure Tom Brady. That's the most important thing. We've seen it time and time again how the Dolphins won. Definitely that year again when, when Jay Cutler was our starting quarterback, we saw that they were giving different look packages. This is Brian Flores. He knows how the, uh, the Patriots offense really works. So he might have some leverage against the uh, Patriots and might be able to win, but they have to get pressure onto uh, Tom Brady. If they don't, they're going to lose. Two, they gotta get a run game going. Dolphins fell behind real quick during the uh, week one against the Ravens. So, um, Kenyon Drake or Kalen Balaj really didn't do a lot fantasy wise or production wise. They just, we got way too behind. They didn't run the ball anymore. So, they gotta consistently run the ball, keep the clock going. You know, the time possession last week was 40 minutes to t Ravens, 20 minutes Dolphins. You're not gonna win any football games like that. You have to win the time possession, keep drives going. And three, I honestly think the Dolphins should play uh, Josh Rosen majority of the game. Ryan Fitzpatrick has been around for a while. Bill Belichick knows Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's played for the, vet, uh, the, the Bills and the Jets. He knows how Ryan Fitzpatrick played. Now, Josh Rosen, on the other hand, you know, Bill Belichick probably has looked into Josh Rosen, but for the fact that Josh Rosen is still somewhat new, second year in the league, on a different, you know, different offensive scheme, he might propel a different possibility on the offensive side as Bill Pelichick may not have a defensive scheme for Josh Rosen just yet. So, if Ryan Fitzpatrick does do, doesn't really do anything within the first quarter, but the Dolphins are still somewhat in, you know, or even regardless, if we're getting blown out. Josh Rosen should be playing majority of the game for a that he has to give us he gives us a chance to win first of all, and then B, if we are in a rebuild year, you should have Josh Rosen playing more than Ryan Fitzpatrick because Josh Rosen could potentially be our you know, future quarterback. And if he plays very well, regardless of what our record is, if he plays very well, we don't have to waste a first you know, top five pick for uh, a quarterback. We don't need a quarterback. We can go get the next Joe Thomas or the next Jalen Ramsey or next, you know, J.J. Watt, something that, you know, we can, we don't have to waste it on Tua Tagalua or Justin Herbert and any of that. We can actually get someone who can probably be a premier player like those guys are. So that's the three ways, you know, th key three for the Dolphins that they win. Pressure Tom Brady, get the run game going, and play Josh Rosen and not Ryan Fitzpatrick. Like I said, I think the Dolphins aren't going to beat the Patriots. It's going to be a long, long season for the Dolphins. Dolphins could put the upset for the fact it is in Miami. Tom Brady does not play well in Miami or hasn't in recent years. You know, it's going to be hot. Tom Brady is getting up there in age. So, possibility there, but I don't see it. Uh, let me know down below what you think is going to happen in the game. Uh, let me know what your thoughts on on the game after, your, uh, after the game happens. And uh, catch you guys later. Fins up. I hope the Dolphins win. But I just don't see it. I Hopefully the Dolphins do surprise me. Maybe another Miami Miracle. But like I said, catch you guys on the flip side. I hope the Finns win. And have a great Sunday, guys. Thank you very much.